Hey everyone, it's Justin here from Animal Crossing World and today I've got a nifty new application that I want to show off to you guys called the Island Planner application or as I'm going to call it the 3D Island Planner. And the reason I'm calling it 3D Island Planner is pretty obvious as you can see here. It's because this application offers a full 3D environment to help you plan out your Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. Now you may have seen some 2D ones out there, I've seen a few, I've even written about a few of them before where they're sort of just like a pixel art editor sort of tile by a tile uh, that kind of looks like the map inside your Nook phone when you go uh, look at your map in game. But this is more of a full 3D environment which really lets you fully kind of explore the possibilities for designing your island as you can see here. I'm just sort of fiddling around here uh, as I talk because it's hard to concentrate on both at the same time but there are some really cool things you can do with this. So in this video I'm going to sort of go over all the features and possibilities that this app lets you do and then at the end I'll tell you how you can use this yourself and try it out. So to begin here I'm showing off the water tool uh, which I'm just sort of making random ponds but let me try to actually make something for you here. Let me try making a little river here if I can manage that. You can uh, click on the corners and make the little corner bits just like in New Horizons although they don't they don't look exactly how they look in game but it still lets you sort of plan it out. So I'm sort of making a, uh, a crappy little river here or attempting to. So we got that there. Then the next level, of course, is there's a cliff option up here. So with the cliff option, we can make cliffs, as you'd expect. And this is where you really start to realize the potential of this thing. Because when you're playing New Horizons, look, I love the Island Designer tool. It's great and everything. But uh, so by the way, you can press R and you can get an overhead view, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, the, great, the cliff tool is great and everything, but it's a little slow, right? If you're trying to just experiment with new ideas, it can take a lot of time just to test out an idea only to find out, wow, this looks garbage, I hate this, right? I'm sure we've all been there. So this app here with this cliff tool in particular makes it really, really easy to test this out. Um, and just like the water, if you click on the corners, it'll turn it into the diagonal uh, thingy. And yeah, just like this, we just created this whole little area here that, I mean, this would have taken me easily probably like 20 minutes, 10, 20 minutes to put this together inside of the game. And then I'd try it out and be like, I hate this. And then I'd have to undo it all. But with this app, you can just try it out real quick like this. It's pretty neat. So that gives you a little look at the water options. However, there's much more to this than just that. So there's also a pass option here. And that adds a little toolbar at the bottom here, which as you can see, it comes equipped with all the same paths that you can find inside of Animal Crossing Horizons. So we've got dirt, stone, bricks, dark dirt, arch tile, sand, terracotta, and wood. So we'll just try some of these out here. Now, as you'll see here, the in graphics inside this application, I mean, they don't quite match up with the game one-to-one. Uh, -one. I mean, I will say as a whole, the overall uh, I guess graphics quality of this, you know, it may not be the most amazing thing in the world, but that's not really the point, right? You're not playing this. You're not using this so you can look at it and look at how pretty it is. You're using this to plan it out so you can put it in your real Animal Crossing New Horizons to look great. So I don't think that really matters, but this sort of gives you an idea of all the paths that are in here. So just like this, you can go around and add some paths just like you would in the game. And they do support the, uh, oops, that's a bug right there. <laughs> They do support the corners, so if I click on the corners, I get the little rounded edges, uh, just like you can get inside of Horizons. All right, so next up, we've got the buildings tool. And as you would expect, it has lots of buildings. So they've gone ahead here and they sort of got some blueprints, so to speak, of the different sizes for the, all the buildings you'll wanna create. And so this helps you out with planning as well because, you know, if you're like me, you spend a lot of time trying to dig holes to try to work out how many tiles are everywhere and where you're going to put things. So this definitely helps out a lot. So we can go ahead here and put down this giant one here and this represents the plaza. Uh, now it doesn't look like the plaza, but it represents it and it's a big giant block. You'll know what it is. We've also got my own house. And so this one is separate from the small house because this would just be a villager house where this is like our house or their, your house in case here. So I'll just quickly press R here to go to the overhead view. And I'm just going to add a big, ugly block of cliff here so I can experiment with putting in my house. That needs lots of space. There we go. Then we'll go back to that. And then there we go. Looks good. Well, I wouldn't say good, but you know, it looks okay. I'm not a uh, expert at design. I make the video. 
and I show you the tool, but I do not tell you how to actually make something look good because that is not in my tool set. So now you've got that, right? But there's something missing here. How are we gonna get up to the house? That is what we're gonna need an incline for, of course, and this app has inclines covered as well. Uh, right now, there's just basic incline. They don't have um, all the sort of incline designs from the game in here. It's just sort of a basic incline, but I think that's okay. And you know, maybe eventually they'll work on this, but as it stands right now, you're just gonna get a basic incline. Now this is uh, poorly done in terms of centering because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm gonna quickly change this slightly. Uh, there we go. So it looks a little bit better. And you use it, you can press E on your keyboard in order to rotate and then bam, you've got a uh, incline there. This looks not too bad if I do say so myself. Get a little bit of this water here. Sorry, this is a mess. You didn't come here for pro design though, you know, you came here for the app. And uh, oh, oh goodness. Okay, so that's what happens if you try to put cliff on water. All right, here we go. Nice. Not too bad. Yeah, it's, actually, it's actually really bad. <laughs> but again, that's not why you're here, right? So yes, yeah, so you can make inclines, you can rotate them, that's nice. You can also make bridges. So we'll just go ahead and see here. There's three different sizes. There's three blocks wide, four blocks wide, and five blocks wide. And you can press E again to change the direction. So in this case, I can make a diagonal, which is pretty nice. And there we go, now we've got a bridge. Again, doesn't look like the real bridge, but you know, again, the point here is not the looks, right? It doesn't really matter what the bridge looks like. The point is you can test out what it's like to put a bridge there and whether there would be space for it and how things would work around it. And that's what matters, right? Um, it would be nice eventually if they add in different bridge designs so we can kind of take note of what bridge design we want in which areas. But I think all those things are gonna come later. So now we've got that. Let's test out the path tool. And because I believe you can bring it up to the edges. Yes, there you go. Just like you can with some bridges in New Horizons, I believe. I don't think all the bridges let you do that, but some of them let you do this. So it's, it's good that you can replicate that in here. They let you put this on here, but that's pretty sure that's impossible in the actual game. So keep that in mind. This is not a, a direct one-to-one -one in every aspect yet. So you will find that there are some things this lets you do that you can't actually do in New Horizons. They're still working on that. I'm sure they're gonna need a lot of feedback from people to help to uh, figure that out. So if you want to help them out, I'm sure they definitely could would appreciate that and letting them know if you find anything in here that you can do that you shouldn't actually be able to do in New Horizons. So before we wrap this up, I'm just gonna show you a few more of the buildings that are here. So we have the shop, so Nook's Crannies, and we have the tailor shop, so Able Sisters. We have the museum here, and we have the campsite. So we've got all the buildings covered. So also so you can zoom out more than I have been which is a big handy feature of this, because obviously New Horizons, when you're trying to plan your island, if you want to see sort of an overhead view that like doesn't exist in terms of being more zoomed out, but if I press R here twice, this is how far we can zoom out in the overhead view, which is pretty nice. It really helps you out if you're trying to plan out the whole grand scheme of your island, right? And so while we've got here, I'm gonna go take you over here before we end this video to show you a sort of, uh, what's to say, more sophisticated area that I created over here that, you know, it took me a little more time to make this. So it doesn't look like complete trash, like what I've created in this video on a limited time span while I'm talking. Cause it's, it's hard doing this while you're talking, you know? And so one of the cool things you'll see here is this island designer does support the waterfalls on the cliffs, as you can see here. So that's really nice for planning that. And of course bridges, basically all the things I've already shown you, but showing you it in a more sophisticated layout that uh, might make you actually feel like this is a worthwhile tool to use. So yeah, I think that pretty much shows off everything that's worthwhile noting here. I will note that you can save, so don't worry about that. If you press the little save button in the corner here, um, you will, it will save this either to your computer or to your browser's um, data, which I'll get into in a moment here when I tell you how you can use this. And then you can press the load button to load up your save as well. That's all pretty neat. And you can see here the lovely people who created this. It was mostly created by, I believe it's a boyfriend, girlfriend duo, uh, Rob and Carmela, hopefully I'm getting that right, who have put this together with a bunch of help from other people. Uh, but anyway, so if you wanna try this out yourself, it's actually a web app and also an application that you can download yourself on your computer if you wanna use it outside of your web browser. So I'll leave the link in the description below. You can head there, 
Um, I will note that as you can see, it is slight, it is fairly complex. So like, this is not something that's going to work on a really, really, really bad computer. I mean, it's going to need, your computer is going to be able to be able to render like a basic 3D environment decently. So keep that in mind. And also this does not work on phones at the moment. It is made in Unity, so it's possible they could get it working on phones in the future if any of the app stores uh, will accept them. But I don't know if that's going to happen and they seem pretty unsure about it at the moment anyway. So yeah, check it out. It's the 3D Island Planner. It'll really help you out with your Animal Crossing Horizons plans. I hope you enjoyed this little look at it. And by the way, if you enjoy this, when you go to the page to check it out and download it or, or uh, try it out yourself in the browser, please consider uh, leaving a donation to developers who created this because they seem like they're really onto something here. And I think this has a lot of potential if people keep using it um, and they get time to improve on it and add to it because there, there really is a lot of potential here and I hope that uh, people support them. So feel free to go ahead and check it out and leave them a donation if you really like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you gave it a like, if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Animal Crossing World for more Animal Crossing content.